too focused on the balls. You're fun. Except that I shoot like one tier a minute. Doge. Tainted Lazarus? Uh, I have played some. He sucks. filthy right now. My hands smell a bit like fish I noticed earlier when I was smelling them. <laughs> I was smelling my controller for chat. A little fishing today. Caught a few fish. Nothing too exciting. Oh, I used all my health. Escaped giant gecko. So you're doing that thing I told you to do, huh? Taking over the streets of New York with giant geckos? That's tight. I look forward to hearing about it. Maybe he'll step in some radioactive ooze and grow to the size of uh, a building. week? That's a minute. It's giant! <laughs> How do you lose a giant lizard? All I hear is giant. You put giant in there, I'm going to assume it's giant. Don't blame me. I, I, I didn't name it poorly. Oh no, my tier 8. I'm not eating anything this run. This is the don't eat stuff run. Lacker probably has a bigger house. Ah, it's in one of his three libraries. I should have eaten that, too. Sorry. At that point, you're just wasting trees. I bet they're good bait, Doge. Can I uh, use it as bait lacquer? more than my fishing rod? Well. That's likely. My fishing rods are quite cheap. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't have any $800 fishing poles. Not even rods and reels. I'm a cheap man. You still have to push the button, Richard. I wish I could eat that. Do I know what that heart does? I feel like I do. What is this? What is this, chat? Gives you some broken hearts and damage per broken heart. Oh. Alright. Damage that would kill you gives you two broken hearts instead. Oh. All right, so I'm invincible. Live forever is what you're telling me. number two. Stop this. Stop this immediately. Any good catfishing near you? Uh, I'm, yeah, like decent. Not amazing. I've got a bunch of catfish pictures all over my Twitter, though. I love catfishing. We don't have any blue cats, which is sad. Ooh, rainbow. Toad, thank you for the 30 months, and Seedrum, thank you for the 21 months. damage. I can't say no. A good handle of the fish. What's that supposed to mean? Like, are we keeping it, keeping it, keeping it down? <laughs> really making sure we keep those fish dead?
Overfishing? Uh, no, like, I think our lakes are pretty good up here. There's a few species of things that struggle. Perch get pretty obliterated by ice fishing. Um, because they're pretty dumb. Uh, I don't eat that many fish. I could eat fish every single day. I release most of this shit I catch, though. Like 98% of it. But yeah, I could give myself mercury poisoning. Definitely. No, fish in my lake are absolutely safe. No, the river I fish, the catfish a lot, is not safe to eat. But no, my lake, I eat, if I eat fish, it's out of my lake. And it's usually crappie or perch. Where'd that fucking car come from? Birds suck. I'm with Fell Lord here. Fuck them. We don't need them. What are they even doing, honestly? Who needs them? I don't have any bombs, but like I also don't have any flies, so I'm gonna eat you. You can't even get carp shit here. It's just non existent. We don't have it. Unless it shares some purpose for another fish, we don't have it. We were, we barely have catfish shit up here, though. Like, you can't find circle hooks above, like, a fucking 2 ot, which is tiny in catfish terms, IMO. I got all that fancy carp gear, though. Like, all of it. Thanks to Morlax sending it to me. Um, <laughs> and none of it works as well as fucking red worms. Surprisingly, red worms. Like, uh, night crawlers don't work well for carp. Red worms work great. I mean, if you end up with a lake house in Florida. Lacquer. 
I mean, I'll start giving blowies, honestly. Have I lied to you about blowies before? Yeah, but fishing's different. There are things I think I like, and then there's fishing. sure who you're asking there, Fink. It could be amazing. Hey, not bad. What bait works for what type of fish? Oh, trial and error? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can you can do lots of googling, but from my experience, fishing is a lot about figuring out what works for you, not what works for the internet. Uh, so yeah, mostly trial and error. It works okay here too, Park, but I don't think it works as well as Worms. That was my point. Like, I got all kinds of fancy corn rigs and different things for chumming, and I, I got like all the fancy European carp shit, because in Europe, carp is the, the sport fish, right? It's the bass of Europe. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that shit matters more with fish that are pressured. And the same, similar to the video games, even. Um, if you're trying to catch the the trophy fish, maybe, maybe that's the key. But when you're just trying to catch fish, um, yeah, a lot of those insane techniques and. Baits just don't make sense. Also, in Europe, where carp fishing is most popular, they have uh, mostly pay lakes, pay lakes that they go to. Uh, so they're heavily fished. How many bumps do I have left here? So you're getting into, like, trying to come up with something new that the fish isn't expecting. Like here, carp just aren't fish boards, so they're like not gun shy, if, if, I, if you will. They'll eat whatever the fuck you put out there, pretty much. This will give me the angel. I need to hit it two more times. I just don't have the fucking health for it. Grr, bark. I'd lose a lot to do that.
uncooked pieces of Pillsbury biscuit. See, everybody's got their go-to. And I think that's a big part of fishing. Everybody's got their go-to baits. Uh, the chicken livers and stuff that people still use. It's because it worked for them before. So they're not going to change it up now. Oh, that's one more. Like, uh, even today, I tried a couple of new lures. I cast them probably six times each. And then went back to my lures that I, I know work and cast them like 50 fucking times each. And it's because I have faith in my lures that I know work. In a good way. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I love it. puppies uh they make little like bdsm leather duck harnesses that you can fish with mm, if you want to fish with baby ducks Or you could fish with m mice, since mice are being talked about. That would solve the mouse problem. Make uh, mice more popular as a bait. God, I couldn't imagine hooking a mouse. I don't know why. What am I doing? Who am I? <laughs> this is fine. So lacquer, you feed mice to your critters. Could you put one on a hook? Sure, they're for. Oh, you use frozen ones. You don't use live ones. Okay. Yeah, they'd swim, Sinister. That'd be the goal. I, yeah, I agree, Lacker. How about baby ducks? Like, I could use a baby... Because you don't have to put a... So these little leather harnesses have hooks hanging off them. And I could use a baby duck as bait. Because I, if I didn't have to put a hook through it like that. Except that you wouldn't reel back... Like an empty harness. You'd reel back like a mangled duckling. That part would be fucking... No good. A not dead, suffering, mangled duckling. Couldn't do that. And I hate birds. I'm not trying to hurt your hearts. I'm just telling you about things that exist. What about fish? Those are alive too. It's different, man. Fish are different than mammals. Fact.
That's incredibly rude of you. Um. <gasps> Oops. Thought that was that Empress card. My bad. Didn't I have an Empress card at some point? I definitely don't enjoy it, Bran. But yeah. The reason I did that is I didn't want to lose my 30% chance at a Devil Deal. 30 is not great, but it's something. Your friends not food I agree unless I'm hungry and in the mood for fish then those fuckers are dead what about beavers dude there are so many beaver chewed trees on my lake now I'm afraid to drive too close to shore Thing for the 11 months. Beavers actually do the cartoon cut your tree down thing. It looks just like the cartoons, chat. The perfectly chewed little ring around the tree and the little spike left over when the tree breaks. you can do anything with beavers here. I know they killed a bunch of them on my lake because they were destroying property, but I don't know if it's legal. I've These are the first beavers I've ever seen in Michigan. But I'm in southern Michigan, so we just don't have quite the wildlife diversity that northern Michigan does. That's fine, apparently. chat died. Did my stream die too? Nobody knows. Nobody will ever know. Oh, come on. Oh, my chat's back. Shit, now I don't have enough health to do this. Doge, thank you for the gifts. Um. Thought maybe I could I could beat the game.
I could have looked for the super secret, that's true. That was an option. Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. Uh. Oh, that's just going to hit me, huh? It's okay, I don't ever have to go there again. The reward was the garbage. Oh, oh, oh. Stupid spiked chest. Gambling is fun. Just good fun. Glad to be here, Finks. Now, would I ever use a black rune over... This for my hundred percent devil deal. Sorry, I'm... Ah. 
I was reading chat, sorry. I don't care about any of this garbage. I guess I'll take this. Fucking speed. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, most countries fucking wrecked beavers for their fur. It was uh, super... I mean, like, half the reason North America's populated is beaver fur. Canada? Like, it... It's just beaver fur. Oh, I should have hourglassed out of there, I guess. This run just sucks. Synergy? Hmm, I don't think that's quite synergy. Thought beavers were pests? I mean, they are now. Like, <laughs> but no, yeah, beaver fur is like almost 100% waterproof. So it was super sought after. Like, all the fanciest coats and hats were beaver. It was a, a very big trade commodity fought over and wards and England fucking loved that shit for some reason. Dun, 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 dun. But the whole, like beavers are a pest thing is like yes they are a pest to your land and your property and and the, the the whole poor beaver thing like if you live on this planet you're taking some animals <laughs> you're taking some animals land you're interfering with some animals life Don't pretend like you aren't just because you didn't kill a beaver. Biggest invasive species? Whatever, man. Like, if you want to word it that way, that's fine. I just think all that shit's silly. Like, like, controlling beavers in order to stop them from being destructive pales in comparison to the fact that we were murdering them by the tens of thousands for their fur. Like, we are, we're, we're so much better to about that than we ever were. We've I think we've even gone too far with the fur thing because now there's so many pest animals like raccoons and stuff that just get killed because they're pests because they need to be killed uh, and there's nothing to do with them anymore because no, because fur is just not a thing. It's, it's We completely destroyed it. But the alternative was if you make fur have any value then people overhunt to extinction. So fucked either way I guess.
You mean not just leaders? I know you mean in general, but the point is, <laughs> you, we in general have a huge impact on and animals, no matter what it is. And like picking and choosing which one you feel bad about is, if you if you take up real estate on this planet, unless you sleep on the fucking ground in the woods. You just really can't pretend you're better than somebody else for dealing with a pest. But is there, Calf? Where do you live? Like... <laughs> I don't know that there really is. Because, like, everywhere that's the case. Like, that's the case. By just building a town or a city, you're doing that in its own right. Yeah, I like Buffalo's a good example. Buff Buffalo <laughs> were never gonna last in the wild. The fact that we didn't kill them all is actually astonishing. And it's not just an America thing, right? Like, look at fucking uh, Scandinavians and their fucking their birds. How many birds did they wipe out? Because they were easy to get to. The great ot and stuff like that, that they were just... These dumb birds come breed on this same island every time, and it's a free meal. Like, buffalo were the same concept of just an easy free meal, and then, worse, they started getting killed to fuck with Native Americans. They were getting killed just for profit. But the fact of the matter is, we exist, and we take up a lot of space. We're certainly doing better than we've ever done in, in history at attempting to protect animals. But that doesn't mean dealing with uh, population control or keeping them out of certain areas is like anything that pales in comparison to what we've done in history. And it's, it's unfortunately necessary. Like, like beavers is a fine example of necessary. necessary to control beaver populations and to remove them from habited, er, uh, inhabited areas because they're insanely destructive like we've had I said yesterday the beavers here have crushed a boat a house dropped down dozens of trees oops I used that wrong that's just dangerous. It 
has to be dealt with. I think all animals are obviously important. That's not the debate. It's just, are they important in your neighborhood? And you have the opposite happens too. Like we were talking about yesterday with the chipmunks. Uh, they don't. They don't get killed by anything because they live in your neighborhood. So that they become wildly overpopulated in safe areas for them to live. Brian, thank you for the 14 months. But we have to be involved. We, we can't just ignore it. You can't leave ne nature alone. That's not an option. Not unless you're going to give up your home. We don't have overpopulating. That's like not, that's not a thing, Fargo. <laughs> people were talking about leaving them alone acting like it's some horrible endeavor to remove a pest and I just think that's a hilariously naive statement when you're a part of this planet you're 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 also doing the exact same thing whether you want to admit it or not wherever you live is doing the exact same thing to animals Or the fact that you have a home there did that to the animals at one point or another, right? Like, they were removed from their natural habitat at one point or another. But never killing. I mean, so you want to just relocate horses so, so that they starve to death and eat each other and instead of just putting some down so they don't have to deal with that? If we don't, if we don't, like, look into the wild horse population and see the work that goes into trying to control the wild horse population because there isn't enough space for them and they're not smart enough to stop eating. They're not smart enough to stop breeding. So they will literally eat themselves to death and then start cannibalizing each other we should just not get involved in that when we could get involved in that when we could help move them around we could help by killing a few humanely instead of letting them fucking starve and then eat each other's corpses I don't agree with that, man. I think that's just, again, that's just naive.
And yes, it's our fault, but uh, like I said, it, it, we are also a part of this planet. But it's amazing that we even have any wild horses left because of the amount of space they take up and the amount of land they devour. It's amazing we have them. And I hear they taste all right. But yeah, we can have a positive impact on nature, and some, but unfortunately sometimes that does require death. It does. This is the sad truth of it. There's no humane death in the wild. I'll tell you what. Doesn't exist. Old age? <laughs> That's not, like, what do you mean old age? You think it just p passes peacefully in the night? What old age for an animal means is, like, it can no longer eat, so it lays down and starves to death, hopefully not getting eaten by a coyote while it's still alive. Like, that's what old age for an animal is, dog. It's not. They don't have somebody there to give them painkillers and wait for them to die. That's their organ failure. I mean, and those are, that's not a good way to die. There's a reason when we have somebody like that, we take care of them. Hospice exists. Uh, I don't know, Darth. I know that wild horses existed in Canada, so I assume they pos existed in the Pacific Northwest. I don't know if they existed in the... where they exist today, but I know that they existed in Canada for sure. And I'm not, like, big pro-animal murder here. I just think that there is very good value in a lot of things that people think are bad. And that includes like hunting, fishing, and population control of wild animals. Like if, you, if you've ever been to Michigan to see our deer population, it's fucking insanity. But it's regulated very well. They set an X number of deer every year they want to die. They, they, they track it to the best of their ability. They try to ban the things we do that are bad and allow the things we do that are good. I mean, there's, it just, yeah. That's why I'm passionate about it, because I just wish it wasn't so taboo when it's so silly to me to just pick and choose what's bad when we're all having an impact on, on, on wildlife. We cannot pretend like we aren't. Every single one of us, you know, you throw your fucking half a sandwich out a window on the side of the road and that attracts a raccoon that later gets hit by a car. Like, we all have impacts on animals. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Subs and stuff. I love you. See you probably tomorrow.